who here 2019 this is harriet directed by cassie lemons stars cynthia arrivo in the lead role as harriet leslie or don juni plays joe orwin clark peters and vanessa bell calloway and jenna monet are in supporting roles and there will be a slide as always going through that cast uh and uh uh, particularly, I want to uh, note Janelle Monet. Uh, she's a very successful music artist as well. I've got a number of her albums. And uh, her role is significant in this movie. And uh, she's very good as well. Music is by Terence Blanchard. So uh, there we are. Uh, that's the basic rundown of this uh, movie. Um, Cynthia Revo uh, plays Minty. And Minty Ross later becomes Harriet Tubman. More of that later. Leslie O'Donnell plays William. Uh, still, he's an activist in the anti-abolitionist movement in Pennsylvania. Joe Alwyn plays the slave owner's son, Gideon Broads. Uh, and it's based on a true story about 27-year-old Minty uh, Ross's enslavement since birth uh, as the Broads family uh, who own a small town plantation in Virginia have the rights to these uh, women and children. Her family's circumstances are complicated. The females, mother and siblings are all slaves, but the father and husband are free men. Uh, difficult to quirk that one out, I must say. Early on, we witness a confrontation, an incident involving Minty and her husband and the slave owner and his son. Her husband, John Tubman, asked uh, them to free Minty. The couple plan to start a family and uh, Minty doesn't want her child born into slavery. The owner re reacts viciously and reinforces his right to dictate as and when these people he describes as niggers are set free. Minty, when hearing that the son Gideon has posted a for sale notice, for her on trees around the neighborhood she uh, starts to consider her response to this being for sale doesn't uh, uh, feel that comfortable uh, and so she decides to flee uh, she flees her husband as well as he's reluctant to join her feeling that if they go as a pair inevitably they'll be caught and uh, he'll be lynched yeah put me off that would as well runs away to philadelphia a destination sympathetic to slaves and in a sense free with an anti-slavery movement active and encouraged by the US government. There's very much a north and south divide. Does anything ever change there? Uh, and then she's encouraged uh, by the US government to get, on her, uh, get her life going again. But she always has hope that she's going to... Uh, managed to relocate her family uh, from hundreds of miles away. She's uh, the situation where uh, when she travels, uh, we see an extremely difficult hazard adventure and we witness her Harry escape being pursued by Gideon, the son on horseback and truck of track of dogs. She avoids capture by taking uh, enormous risks and help from local people on her route to Philadelphia. It's freedom of sorts, uh, I suggest, but she aligns herself with William Still, who runs the anti-slavery group, and ends up residing in the home of uh, Maria, Maria Buchanan, who's played by Monet. She's uh, uh, assured of some sensitivity here, uh, and uh, Minty, becomes quite committed then uh, and strong to return to Virginia to free her family at all costs. The character is rather headstrong but determined to carry out, out this uh, plan. Uh, reigning in her impulsiveness to an extent uh, is a constant struggle for her uh, but she starts a series of journeys down south to liberate her family. We witness these trips, the hurdles overcome and the dangers inherent in taking the trip. Minty is now known as Harriet Tubman, her free name. Finding her husband presents a new challenge. 
he's taken a new wife, Bellini and Minty, to be dead. But her determination uh, 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 towards her family men men members uh, doesn't uh, prevent her taking the risky journey north repeatedly. More draconian laws were introduced in 1850 in the states, some of the states, but that doesn't deter her. This fugitive slave law, meaning uh, that anybody who assists a slave in escaping could be in, in trouble, uh, is what we're talking about here. Uh, but uh, she is uh, determined to pursue her goal. Um, the movie, it has to be said, uh, shows this determination and strength in spades. And uh, we also get Gideon, the slave owner, seen as a very obsessive person who, who is determined to recapture and torture Harrier. His deep-rooted racism is all to be shown. And uh, he's also obsessed with power. So... It touches on white supremacy for, for sure, and of course slave ownership, uh, which uh, existed uh, for the historical note between 1849 and 1953. Uh, that's the period covered by this film. Uh, we touch on the politics uh, towards outlawing slavery, uh, but it isn't sort of uh, in your face too much. Uh, and uh, the slave owners uh, also adopt tactics by employ employing other Negroes to grasp on those wishing to gain their freedom, to escape a poverty. Slaves are compared to piglets, uh, dependent on the pig, meaning the owner. Um, it's not up to 12 years a slave, uh, I'll warn you on that. Um, it's an okay movie, but that Steve McQueen epic was far superior. Um, but it has uh, has scenes of of of, of some uh, uh, concern, uh, but we don't see the violence or the sexual exploitation uh, that we saw in McQueen's uh, classic. It's a bit slow and uneventful at times, but Cynthia Erivo shines through as Harriet uh, and dominates the plot. Her ability to portray a woman of strength. Uh, is is shown uh, clearly and uh, she becomes very attached to the struggle uh, rarely smiles uh, and uh, she is determined uh, to overcome uh, Gideon's quest uh, to uh, locate her and imprison her again uh, Erivo received a nomination for lead actress for this at the Golden Groves and the Oscar uh, for her performance and there was also uh, uh, a nomination for a song included in the movie. So that's my lot. Uh, not a bad movie. Uh, if you're into that side of sort of struggle and American history and finding out truths about slavery. So give it a watch. Harriet was released in 2019.